Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and let's build this family together. Do you remember two weeks ago, I met this student crying by the roadside. I was like, hey, why are you crying? So she was like, oh, I lost my lens and my, I don't know, it was just, I just bought it. It was like this. I was like, okay. So I took it to social media, YouTube to be precise, and I spoke to you to support. So today I want to say a very big thank you to all of you for supporting me by a new lens for this girl who was uh, crying by the roadside. Because I saw I'm a, I'm a teacher myself, so when I see such things, it really touches my heart. So I had to post it on YouTube, and I had numerous people helping me. Some of them don't want me to mention their names, but hey, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you for supporting patients get a new lens. I also got myself one because I'm always by the computer, and sometimes my eyes like this is like pretty small. And when I have to look at someone, I have to like, you know, go closer to it. So I spoke to the optician and she's like, okay, I need to get a lens myself. So let's hear what patient has to say after we got her, her lens. Um, five days, four days ago, I met this young lady whilst I was making a video in El Nina. And uh, she was crying because she had lost her lens. I was like, okay, let me make a video, put it out there for you to support. We have countless people supporting us and today we, we made an order on tuesday and we were supposed to come here on thursday to come and get it and this is her beautiful friend so we came here and she has finally gotten her lens go ahead hello guys thank you everyone for your support god really bless you i really appreciate it we can't see you guys from because they're proud of something guys it isn't it's really a good thing that they are doing and we support you guys all we thank you Yes, and one funny thing that she said, when, when we met, she was asking whether I'm a froster or um, whatever. So, hey, I'm not a froster, I just wanted to help. And now she's convinced that Africans can really support ourselves. So, thank you, everybody who supported, sent money for this, yeah? Say bye-bye. All right, that's so awesome. So, I also want to say a big thank you on behalf of patients. Now, let's go to today's video. I want to say a big shout-out to... Mr. Elolo. So Mr. Elolo is a tutor in one of the schools here in the central region of Ghana. Before I mention the name of the school, this brother has always been like 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 this with me anytime we have to talk about technical vocational skills. Yes, me myself I've always been looking at if we want to look at the development of Africa, Ghana, Central Region to be precise, then we have to look more into teaching ourselves how to be skillful technically and vocationally. And that is what he comes in as a partner. I mean, we've been talking about how we can en encourage parents, we can encourage students, encourage the whole of Ghana to look and focus more into technical and vocational. Because at the end of the day, when you're out of school, from any of these institutions you come out and you have your own job you're not going to be writing application letters ask, uh, looking for job here and there there are certain courses that are learned in such schools for example Birua Technical Institute yes Birua Technical Institute is one of the educational institutions here in the central region of Ghana mainly to teach uh, students uh, how to be uh, cook um, mechanics uh, builders or dressmakers, IT uh, gurus, if I should say, uh, and other stuff, okay, dressmakers and all that. So today, Mr. Elolo invited me over to the school where they were graduating the final year student. So I think there's a four year course and a three year course for the student. Whatever skill that you want to go and learn there, there's a 10 of years that you may want to choose depending on your strength. So I think the final year student this time did four year course. So we went there and it was amazing the thing that I saw these kids do. I saw the dressmakers making some awesome outfit that I think that even if you're watching and you are coming to Ghana or you are somewhere in Ghana, you want to get some outfit for your wedding, engagement or whatever, even suit, whatever, you can walk up to that school, talk to the management and you have a kid, show you something nice. Now, the most beautiful thing that I always want to talk about when I went there was those from the woodworks. Uh, if we should, we should say the carpentry side, yes, damn, they were really good. I saw 
this um, structure made from wood and uh, it's like a, a lamp ho uh, light lamp holder or for lights and it was like amazing like the way they, they designed the whole thing I was like an animal it was it was pretty cool so hey I went there I took some videos I spoke to some kids I spoke to some masters and they were very happy that yo sir I'm happy that I've learned how to do one, two, three. Uh, when I'm done with school, I'll not go and look for work anywhere. But I'll team up with a friend of mine, and then we can set up something small, bit by bit. We will open. I was like, <coughs> marvelously brilliant. That is what Africa needs. Enough of the going to look for work at a white collar job. I think that for the next five years, if the government of Ghana focuses on technical vocational institutions it will really help and that is one thing that i want to say that the government is doing uh, i think for the past four years four years to five years uh, the government of ghana introduced a free education so the free education for only the grammar schools and not for the technical vocational schools so it was for the grammar schools and last year uh, the government introduced free education for for those in the technical and vocational institutions and that is hooray so my friend mr elolo has been happy and talking about because it was one of the things that he was worried about like if if the government is giving free education to those in the grammar schools why not those in the technical school because these people after school they have their handy job that they want to go and do so why but at the end of the day the good news is that now we have free technical vocational school if i should say it like like that so i was in the graduation uh saw the kids you know doing their cut work those who do the uh the dressmaking they came out with their beautiful outfit uh those who did the the, the catering i saw them cooking this nice uh, pastries. I wanted to have a taste, but I wasn't allowed because it was covered. Yeah, I really wanted to have a taste, though. Maybe I might go back the next time and then go tell them, hey, I need to make a taste. I will get a taste of what you guys did the other time. So I just wanted to bring you and let you know that if Africa is going to develop, we should also be looking more into technical vocational stuff like i said i want to say big shout outs to elolo for hosting me for you know reminding me that hey there was a program there and i also want to say shout outs to all the students that i know personally i can't mention your names because you're a lot uh, i want to say big shout outs to all of you uh you've really done well four years of being in school learning how to sew be a mechanic be an electrician air condition uh repairer uh, an it guru uh whatever skill that you've learned there please make good use of it don't go be messing around with your friends and be doing nothing please just team up that is what i want to see team up with your friends come back to the school tell them hey school this is what we want to do what advice do you have for us the school has a lot of advice for younger brothers and sisters so if you are watching this i want to say that africa ghana central region we should be looking more into technical vocational schools because at the end of the day this is what is going to help africa develop thank you very much for checking out this video you just watch what happened during the whole project yes just enjoy this video put up a comment and tell me the most interesting part of this video and please don't forget to subscribe like share and let's build this youtube channel together peace
Then they can't go. 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 Then